Hi. I'm sure the younger generations can't imagine a world without cell phones and iPads, but there was such a world, and I lived through it. In fact, when I was growing up, there were no movie reviews in the newspaper. Oh yes, there were articles about movies, but mostly they were articles about the plot of the movies and who was in it. You had to go to the movie to find out whether you liked it or you didn't like it. It's in the 1960s that movie reviewers like Pauline Kael and Roger Ebert came to the fore. They started to discuss movies as art forms and to tell the reader whether it was worth our time to go to a particular movie. I have been reading and listening to Roger Ebert for a lifetime, and rarely has he really sent me to a movie that I didn't like. Lately, I have been reading Ellen Sterling's reviews on this website and comparing them to Roger Ebert's because I get an email from the Chicago Sun-Times every week with Ebert's reviews. And when the two agree, my husband and I and our friends Tom and Diane are off to the movies. For a lifetime of good advice, among the many things I am thankful for is Roger Ebert. See you next time.